If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and you've got lots of credits, maybe you can hire the JB team. Okay, honestly, hands up for anyone who thought this would ever happen. No, not thumbs up. I said hands up. We'll put it down to the language barrier, but this man, Mr. T. I've seen some surprising event cards in the past. We all have. This is probably the most bizarre, bonkers one yet. Just amazing, amazing that we actually have. This is this is a a, a celebrity Hall of Fame entrant. It's a man, by the way, who has been at WrestleMania twice, number one and number two. So he is part of the WrestleMania legacy, a big part of the WrestleMania legacy. But my goodness. No one saw this coming. We've had Santa Claus, a literal turkey, involved in this game. We almost had a jobber card, a, literally a random local jobber. Mr. T was not a list of the people that I expected to ever see in this game. But here we are, and it's great. I love it. It's apparent after this card. It's what you would have expected. I, I'm definitely a big fan of it, and it's a left arrow. So, of course, it tags with Mick Foley because why wouldn't it? I, I just, I can't. I can't. <laughs> and if Roddy Piper is not the, the undercard on the heroic side, then that is a travesty because it's just perfect, especially being a flash event as well. I can't believe that some people's first ever event cards will be... Mr. T from the A-Team, Kerber Lang. Anyway, this is a flash event. Yes, this weekend's events are flash events. That means this road to glory will last for 48 hours, then followed by a ring domination for another 48 hours before we get to next week. Now, this raises a very big question. What exactly are they throwing this massive event at us for? That I might be able to answer for you in a second. But I want to know, guys, should we get more celebrities involved in the Hall of Fame? Well, let me know in the comments. Let me know who you think out of the Celebrity Hall of Fame that you would like to, to get into Supercard, because that would just be... I'd like to see some of the names in there. I mean, Ozzy Osbourne could, could actually be... In a, a... <sighs> yeah, I'm actually going to move this on to where I think this might be going. And I'm going to say... Mac a thumbs up on the video if you want to see the Hall of Fame cards back because that may be where this is leading. We might finally be getting a return of the Hall of Fame cards. Now, in the past, they've done Money in the Bank cards. They've done the older spring cards, summer cards, uh, the Halloween cards, the Christmas cards. But they've never gone back since season five, if I'm not wrong. For the Hall of Fame cards, we've been missing them for at least a season and a bit. Until potentially now. If you don't remember the Hall of Fame cards, then let me remind you about the absolute beauties that they were. The likes of China, for example. These were the, the ways of introducing names like the Honky Tonk Man, like Hacksaw Hacks Jim Duggan, like Jim the Anvil Neidhart into the game. You do have the throwback cards as well, but I'm talking purely about the Hall of Fame cards. Is this the time we bring that back to the game? Especially now we've had two successive Hall of Fames in one year because of the delays at WrestleMania 36. This is the perfect time. And the reason they're speeding this up could be related to their content going forward into next month. The Super Pass is probably going to be back once every single tier now. And it's mentioned quite heavily in the description within the game on Google, Amazon and Apple's stores. So seeing that probably means it's going to be a regular feature. Just imagine that with the Hall of Fame cards from season five backwards with brand new Hall of Fame cards now. That would be insane. But it also brings up the fact that Rob Van Dam was a Hall of Famer. Yes, Bianca Belair 
was not. But there are so many legends in WrestleMania tier. Now we've actually got the first ever celebrity Hall of Famer in the tier. This just all, maybe it's not, maybe I'm getting too hyped up. But if I was a betting man and I had to choose any option, I would be going, this is a sign that Hall of Fame stuff's coming. We've had a lot of hints towards it. A lot of hints. Talking about the month, going into next month, we've got a Royal Rumble card and the login bonus. Let me know what you got in yours in the comment section, along with your Hall of Fame comments as well. Let's see which one. 200 extra credits. Thank you very much. Raquel Gonzalez, who is a... No, I thought it was going to be an F1, but I trained that card away. Oh, by the way, there's a big video coming up. Just saying. Now, I am hugely excited for the Flash events this weekend, but one thing I am not excited for is the time changes. And oh, woohoo! This is a bit of a bombshell to drop. So let's talk why this has happened. The likelihood we have had no official reasoning, by the way. So nothing official has come from the guys at WWE Supercard or 2K. But my guess would be it is related to the myriad of network issues, network errors, waiting on the networks, maintenance for the network, network maintenance. The first big change is that events will go live two hours later than they usually go live, which is at 8 p.m. UK, 9 p.m. in Europe, or at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Then they're gonna go live at 2 p.m. Pacific time, which means that in the UK it'll be 10 o'clock, Europe, mainland, 11 o'clock. Now, why am I isolating the UK and Europe? Well, I'll come to that in just a second. Now, they're also changing in May, daily challenges, Fusion Friday and Wild Wednesday. Now, my first question is, does this include the pack store? Does this include the collectible store? Or is that all staying the same and they're just making big wholesale changes to the reset times for everything in game? because the, the whole aim of season six and season seven was to bring everything together at the same time. And that seems not to have worked for one reason or another. Otherwise, why would they change it? Now, the good part is if this does fix the network errors, then great, because that is going to be a resolution which everyone will be happy with. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who'd be happy about that. The problem, unfortunately, is what they've done to the guys in Europe and the UK, which is why I isolated them specifically. Why? Well, the ads for your day for free to play players and players who don't want to use up credits for bouts run until about three hours before the event time starts in these new start times. Why is that an issue? Well, which person do you think is going to stay up until 11 p.m. to then play through that part of the night to use up their ads? Answers probably next to no one. And whilst it's an hour earlier in the UK, the problems are still there as well. These players are going to have to use their ads at an unsociable hour to really get the benefit out of them. Because yes, of course, they could use those ads on PVP, but why would they when they've used these for events going forward? This makes a massive argument for the fact that there would be a huge advantage to US and Australian players as an example, but I'm sure there's other countries specifically over those European and British players for ads in events. If this is to do with the network maintenance stuff, then my hat comes off to you, Cat Daddy, but please do reconsider the times because you're putting European and British players into a situation where they could miss out. And going by the replies on Twitter and my Discord server, people aren't happy at all. Like seriously, now, whilst I want to move away from some of the more negative points, we do have to pay respect to a long time servant of the game. Been around for so long. But today is the final Wild Wednesday. I know it's so. 
So sad. Because it's moving to Thursday, only one country in the world, which is America, it will be Wild Wednesday for, and that is two hours in Eastern up to five hours in Pacific. So my suggestion would be that they start Wild Wednesday on the previous day, so it'd be only be Tuesday for America, but for everyone else it'd be Wednesday. And if that doesn't change, this will be the last ever Wild Wednesday that I will claim on a Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen, and it's... I hope it's a good one. I certainly hope it's not a trash Thursday. Because we don't want a trash Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. We want a wild Wednesday. Let's go and get the credits. Ten additional creditos. Thank you very much. Now, personally, I don't need really any support. But I will take another two-stat manager from WrestleMania 37 tier. Let's go. It's a WrestleMania 37 Universal Championship. Which, you know what? I'm going to keep that. I don't know why, I just think it looks nice. Maybe it will have to be used at some point. Woo! New card to the catalogue as well. Will we get another WrestleMania 37 from the main Wild Wednesday? We shall find out in three, two, one. Don't let me down, Wednesday pack. Goodbye, sir. Godspeed. But finishing off this video, we're going to talk about the giant bundle. This showed up last night. I, I'm really excited about getting this opened. This is great because if you are a free to play player, alternatively, you only buy special offers, which I know they have been really lacking for the last year or so in special offers for the game. They brought one back and it's for Andre the Giant. First of all, you get this beautiful, beautiful, Andre the Giant card back, which is exclusive to this pack, kind of like how they did with uh, with Gronk, if you remember rightly. Was this that the last one for this? I'm not sure. You also get 1,200 credits and 1,200 super coins as well, which is a really good deal. You can buy two of these, and the odds for you getting a WrestleMania 37 Andre the Giant is really good. And all of that is just for £4.19. So if you're looking for a deal, this is a deal. Like seriously, this is a really good deal. And so much of a good deal, I'm gonna go buy it myself. Giant bundle, is it gonna be, you know what? I don't care if it's cash or trash because personally, I think this is a good pack regardless of what you get inside. Let's open it. We get ourselves a behemoth, Andre the Giant, which also is beneficial for anyone who is trying to complete the catalog as well. There is the card back. Beautiful. We're going to have to check that out in a second. 1,200 credits, a behemoth, Andre the Giant, and 1,200 super coins, who, again, is another Hall of Famer. So am I going to open another one? Hell yeah, I'm going to open another one. Second pack, is it going to be a WrestleMania? It's going to be a Royal Rumble. So I didn't get lucky in this one, but it's still got pretty good odds. 1,200 of each. No card backs. I've already got the card back. And there we are. Done. So if I go to my player profile quickly, card backs. We've got Andre the Giant. Looks amazing. I can't wait to show you what the, this is all about very, very soon, ladies and gents. But until then... I've been Super Zomagar Barbecue. You have been awesome. If you breathe oxygen, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel to see more of this kind of thing. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bang. So far.